with gallstones, there are a number of complications that can occur as well. So let's go through these because these complications can become concerning. And Dr. Berdeja, we can um, walk through these. First one being inflammation. Why is that a concern? All right, well, inflammation of the gallbladder is, first of all, very painful. Okay. Uh, secondly, if you think of it as a sac, when the swelling occurs, it doesn't occur just out, it also occurs in. And therefore, the, the inside of the gallbladder gets smaller and tighter, mm -hmm. and therefore it makes it more likely that you're going to have more problems with those stones. Okay, and, and we see severe damage or infection right. of the gallbladder as yes. well? Yes, and from there it can progress. The fact that you're now closing off that gallbladder, it's like standing water. Eventually you see the formation of bacteria in there because, again, it's connected to your intestinal mm -hmm. system and the food you eat is not sterile. So then that bacteria inside will then cause further inflammation and further damage to the gallbladder. And gallstone pancreatitis, what is that? So gallstone pancreatitis is an inflammation of the pancreas. The pancreas is that organ that we saw at the bottom of where that tube empties into the intestine. Well, it has a tube of its own that empties exactly in the same place. And if a stone gets stuck there because it travels through that, that duct, it sets off the pancreas. Now, pancreatitis can be uh, completely life-threatening. Fortunately, a lot of what we deal with in pancreatitis will be inflammations that then get better quickly, just as bad as they got, they get better quickly. Right. But in a certain number of patients, and I can tell you honestly, in my practice, at least once a year, we have a patient come in with a straightforward gallbladder pancreatitis that goes on to die of it because it's, it's such a severe problem.